Hi, this is Tracy Martin with Intech Freight Logistics, a certified Mercury Gate value added reseller integrator. Today I'm going to show you how to add a POD to an execution load from the route board in Mercury Gate. Here you can see we have some delivered loads, and one of them is still waiting for a POD. And we can see that by this next activity blue button that says add POD. So in this example, we can just click on the blue button and it gives us three different types of PODs we can enter. We can enter just a signature, such as a name or initials, date, and time, and the drop event. We have a documents that we can add. So you could add like a PDF and you can also add a link. So I'm not gonna do it this way just now. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Another way that you can do it is to hover over this paperclip icon. And from here, select your dropdown. And in this example, I'm gonna go ahead and just select the POD info. So this brings up the box of just the signature line. I'm gonna put in my initials and we can go ahead and say this delivered yesterday. So I'll pick the 14th and I'm gonna select my drop event. So now my execution load 13473 has a POD, a proof of delivery. So I'll select save. And now we can see here that blue button of add POD has gone away and we've got our next activity, which is enter invoice in our workflow. And here, this paperclip icon that we hovered over, you can now see there's another attachment showing our signature. TM is the signature and it was signed on 914 at 1419 as delivered. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments or email us at tms underscore solutions at intechlogistics.com. For more information on Intech's Mercury Gate partnership, visit www.intechfreight-logistics.com forward slash TMS. Please do give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to this channel to get future videos first. Thanks very much for watching.